2013 and was truly the rise of third-party products with tons of new figures announced and released. But one particular character, or should I say characters, that was receiving noticeable attention were the Predacons who combined to form the mighty Predacon. Third-party companies Unique Toys, MMC and TFC have released their equally amazing versions of Predacon with these figures boast modern designs and incredible articulations. These figures of course are considered to be at the high end of the recent Transformers releases, costing upwards of a thousand ringgit. However, another third party company known as Collection Kingdom decided to take a different approach by commercializing an upgrade kit for the famous G1 Predator King mold, which was recently reissued as part of the Transformers 30th anniversary series. The G1 mold is by no means a lackluster figure. The five Predacons Razor Claw, Rampage, Dive Bomb, Tendrum, and Headstrom combine to form a menacing looking Predaking. Granted, the G1 Predaking mold is much more brick like with its limited articulation. Also, fans might be less interested in this figure due to its less than convincing size as a combiner compared to the other combiners currently in the market. Here is a comparison with TFC Hercules. The Angkor Predator King only comes up to the chest level of the third party combiner. But with the add on, you can now transform your G1 Predator King from this to this sexy beast. Some of you might notice that I've been missing from the Transformers community recently. It was my friend from Team.com that provided me the figures for this review purpose. If you like, you can click on the link on the top left corner of the video. As mentioned earlier, this upgrade was brought to you by Collection Kingdom. It even says Transformers 30th, much like the recent Hasbro releases. Okay, On the front of the packaging, we see this very nice box art of Predator King himself. On the sides are the instructions on how to attach the parts to the main body. And apart from that, nothing spectacular about the packaging. Inside, we see all the accessories and this and this bag of stickers. Also included is a collectible card of Predator King. This set comes with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 items to improve the current G1 mode. You will be needing a Phillips screwdriver for some parts of the installation. First of all, we start with Dive Bomb's wings, or the backpack. We will be replacing the old wings as well as this little tab right here. So you just undo the screws and switch the wings with the ones they've provided. Once that is done, you slide the new wings into the bigger wing pieces. Do that on both sides and you now have this huge wing span for your Predator King. Now, to replace this middle tab here with the one they've provided you, you will see why this is necessary when we install the shoulder cannons. But for now, let's just set it aside. Next is the new head collection Kingdom has provided us. Among the noticeable differences is the mouth plate as well as the larger antennas. Now we proceed to the feet. We remove the shoes or boots from Predator King and set them here. Now we get this ankle height extensions and fix them on the original feet. Once that is done, we attach Predator King to his new high heel shoes. The instructions also tell you to pull out Tendrum and Headstrong's legs to make your Predator King even taller. Next is a new waist piece that will once again make Predator King taller. Remove both legs at the thighs. You will need to fold Razor Claw's hip backwards and extend them outwards to make room for the upgrade piece. You, need, you will be sliding the upgrade piece in between the gap that you just opened. Once you've attached the piece, fix it back onto its legs. Fix Predator King back onto its legs. The set also comes with a larger crotch piece that attaches right on the new hip section that you've just installed. Now we come to the fist. The new fists are slightly larger than the original ones. It also has finger articulation as well as moving knuckle spikes. 
also included is a barrel extension for Predator King's blaster. And to make Predator King look more fearsome, they have included more chest hair that can be attached to the well chest. The shoulder cannon will be clipped onto the earlier tab we replaced on the backpacks. The entire piece then slots into this little hole at the back of Predator King. There is also a separate stabilizing tab that you are supposed to attach on the backpack, but I don't think it serves much purpose. Finally, we've come to the sword. One of the best accessories that comes with this set. It is a huge ass golden chrome sword that could give the other third companies a run for their money. The stickers provided are mostly for the lion head and the clutch piece. Anyway, here is another size comparison with TFC Hercules. In an ironic twist of events, Hercules is now only up to Predator King's chest level. If you are not a fan of the long legs, you can always push in the limbs and remove the additional left ankle um, extension from Predator King. Even then, your G1 Predator King will be the same height as Hercules and Creator Primus. With his legs, however, he towers easily above the other two. In conclusion, the upgrade set is great if you already own the G1 Encore or Platinum Predator King and you can't afford the more expensive combiners. It serves as a marvelous display piece, but articulation and posability wise, it is still very, very limited. Also, the parts can be a little flimsy at times and they don't really hold together properly. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this review. This is Kenshin Productions. Take care and goodbye.